Hey everyone, welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we'll be learning how to build an agent with Langflow. So we know that Langflow is a no-code tool where you just have a bunch of components and we pull them into our canvas and then we start connecting those components together and modify here and there with respect to the model and the API key and just get started with our AI workflow. Now in this video, we'll be building an agent and in previous video, we were discussing about how to set up Langflow and we also built a simple uh, flow with Langflow. Now in this video, we'll be building an agent uh, with tools. So let's get started. Just to recap, this is what we have done in the previous video where we were creating a virtual environment and setting up uh, installing Langflow. And this is as Python package or else you can use this Docker image and run your or spin up your Langflow in local machine. So let me go here in the terminal and switch to the virtual environment, which is Langflow environment and bin activate. Now, since we have switched, we already installed Langflow. So we just have to run Langflow now. So what this will do is in the back end, it will try to fetch the Langflow, all the components and services that are present and it will spin up a server for Langflow and it will be running on 7860 and uh, once that is done what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create our agent in that Langflow environment so this is currently running on localhost 7860 I'll just open the hyperlink this is here now this is how the UI will look like once you spin up your Langflow server and the first thing you get is here you can get this option to create your first flow now, once you click that, you will have some templates for uh, building and prompting, building rack and building agent. So today we'll be looking at how to build an agent. So I'll start off with blank flow. I'll click blank flow here and this is our canvas. And here you will have all the options to what include into your uh, canvas. Either since you're building an agent, we want to bring an agent first. This is my agent. Now the agent will take in a bunch of tools and chat input and it also gets the response from an agent. We also have to showcase that into chat output. So let me take input and output from here. Input and output. Output I'll keep it this side. Input this side. And we are also talking about uh, tools. So what I will be using is uh, if I go and search here or not. Tavili, I guess that is a search engine that we'll be using uh, since LLM has some kind of limitation when it comes to the kind of uh, response it can give to a qu query. There will be certain queries which requires an updated information. So we'll be using this Tavili search in such cases. So I'll be importing this also. This is one tool and I'll be enabling the tool mode here. And then I have calculator also I can bring that up I can add that here and that will be my another tool so switch it on now uh, since I have mentioned first we have to connect our chat input and then I'll connect my search engine here and here so I want to give the chat input here not somewhere else let me remove this this is not required and I want to keep it here. This will be my input. This is an instruction of agent. Okay, we can modify this as required. So for now, uh, so if you see here, right, by default, I have a bunch of what I would call, if I click this, I have this global variable set already where I have Tavli API key. I'll just use that for the search engine. And this is the calculator. This will be get uh, this will get triggered when you are passing a chat input where you are passing some kind of a expression, mathematical expression. And if it is not possible by the model or if the model feels it can send it to the calculator tool, then it will send that uh, chat input to the calculator tool. So one second, I'll just minimize this a bit and drag it down, and I'll click this one. Here are the three button, three dot icons, and then expand it, chat input. So I'll keep it here. 
Now I have the agent is not connected to the response that comes from the agent it has to be connected to the chat output. So I'll again click here, click the three dots and expand it. So right now we don't have any chat input and currently the agent is taking OpenAI as the model provider. Now I'll change that to Google and I have already an API key so it got selected automatically and I'll be selecting a model here which will be uh, Gemini 2.0 flash 001 and so first what we'll do is we'll just make simple query and we'll see if the Google is able to what the generative model is able to send a response okay so what is the capital of France okay so here i'll be clicking either you can click playground or you can click chat output and both should work so let us wait few seconds so this is if you're seeing here it is running and it is taking quite some time so it took around 9.3 seconds and let me see this chat output message here so the capital of france is paris so the model is connected and it is working fine now, if I just what, uh, want to understand what is the current stock price, should I buy a specific stock or not, okay, those kind of uh, queries require updated information from the uh, news, latest news. So what I'll give, right, in the input query, what is the stock price, stock price of Google, and should I buy it now? Should I buy it or not? So this is a query where I am checking for a specific uh, stock price for a specific stock. And then I'm also looking for whether should I buy it or not. So this, the LLM is trained on a uh, static data set and it doesn't have that information. So it has to go to a tool called as search engine. In this case, we have set up Tavily for that and it will go there and it will search a bunch of urls and try to find out what is the stock price and whether it you should buy it or not or it will give some suggestion based on certain news so this is there and now what i'll do is i'll click playground since we have already tried out the chat output let me go to the playground so here i'll just type in again what is the stock price of google should I buy it now? So this is my query, input query. Now it is going and fetching. So this is the, oh, see this, it has transformed our query into what is the stock price of Google. Okay, once that is done, uh, it is trying to understand the other aspect of our input query, whether to buy or not. Okay, so if you see here output as of September 8, 2025, the price was two, three, four, two thirty-four dollars a decrease from 1.01 .01 from the previous low in pre-market trading. Whether you should buy it now depends on your investment strategy, risk tolerance and everything. So it has just gave some kind of suggestion, but if I make again another call, okay, let me close this one. Uh, so. If I go here again, should I buy Google stock or sell it? Now if I run this again, chat output, this will go ahead and it will again, it, this time we are not looking for the price, we are looking for the stock recommendation whether to buy it or not. So let me click this one output message based on the search result the concerns among analysts is that alphabet google is a buy okay a significant percentage of analysts recommend strong buy or buy rating additionally the provided article suggests a potential upside based on analyst price targets so it is telling you to buy and at the end to be more uh, cautious it's recommend to consult with the financial advisor before making any investment decision So with few simple steps, we were able to build an agent which is capable of performing search activity with search engine 
and we are also having calculator as a tool and we can also do a general chat with the LLM. So if I just give, let me see if we can give an expression or get to the calculator, right? We can, so calculate this expression or evaluate this expression. Okay, this is the expression and uh, let us see. Oh, what equal, yeah, this is the final expression. So let me run it here again. So this will be my input and let us see the output for this specific expression. So the answer is 44. Let me go back here. So 5 plus 4. 9 9 into what was the expression 9 into 6 which is 54 minus 10 44 so yeah it works as expected and it managed to answer it so uh, this is with respect to how to build an agent uh, you can what look at various other tools that you can integrate with uh, this agent and one more thing that i wanted to show is you can click here and you will have something called as API access and if you go here you will have the code in three different uh, format one is in python in javascript and curl and what you can do is you can copy this and i have copied it already so i have this one and uh, it's the same code from here and what you can do is you can generate a langflow api key you can just go here create an API key and here you can add new okay this will create your API key and you can just load it into this environment and start hitting this flow that you have created this is the flow that we have created now okay so this is one way of accessing your flow using API and when you're building a custom application probably you will have agents running or Langflow flows are running in separate environment. You will have the URL for it. And what you want to do is you want to integrate that URL into your application and hit this flow, get the response and go ahead with your rest of your activity in your application. So this is how you can use Langflow to build an agent and access the API key and access API to integrate with your application. So with that, I'll be concluding this video. Thank you for watching.